And maybe I learned something very cool, you know. I learned this yesterday. I think yeah, that's very cool. Um, and so, so it's probably like this I'll do most of it. It's giving me some uh, problems, uh, you know, importing the, the JavaScript like this. Uh, but uh, I think there might be a way around it. I'm not sure yet. I mean, it gives, uh, it loads fast, you know, <laughs> some of it at least. I don't know why everything is broken right now. I'm kind of qu questioning that. But if I looked at the performance and uh, the side change here is very fast at least. One of them. Um, where am I? This. probably this I suppose it's this at least I don't know if you can see the interactions yeah, mouse down mouse up hmm it's kind of interesting still this is actually a bit too much it's probably be less than this but And also, I don't need all the things React and uh, whatever. I, I'm not gonna talk so much. I to talk too much about React. <laughs> uh, let me see. Um, I was doing something. Um, okay, so we have this. Um, and I press here and it does the reload. And the reload happens because uh, the router is not running yet, I suppose, at least. Um, because, or the router is running, but it's the HTML builder, because this was the old way I did it. Um, it's a web worker, so it's async, right? And if the, the router is removing the links, uh, when there is no links, um, I have a problem. Is your channel down? No. I don't know what's going on. It's because they fuck with my software. It's because they fuck with my software. It's because they. <laughs> No, it's like loops. Yeah, yeah, they, it's, it's those uh, <laughs> those fuckers at the NSA <laughs> or <laughs> uh, they like. Oh, we have a programmer here who does something that's not the normal way. Let's get him, boys. Let's get. Him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or maybe not, <laughs> who knows. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, man. Shit. I'm so fucking crazy. I'm so fucking crazy. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, I... <laughs> I really need to focus. I cannot program right now. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. I'll I'll do the simple way and then get back because I don't I don't wanna use too much time at this, so I'll export this um uh, what's it I guess I export export the class, right? Um and then we don't do it as a worker and we check uh, in here what is going on so we have uh, blah 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 get elements a lot of ids oh this isn't very bad it's very bad
You shouldn't pause the stream. Let me see. What's this? It's because they fuck with my software. It's because they fuck with my software. It's because they. <laughs> shouldn't pause the stream. I'm not. <laughs> It's leaked now. Okay, you should have let it play. Okay, I'll play it fully. It's just that, you know... <laughs> fuck with my software. It's because they fuck with my software. It's because they... <laughs> no, it's like loops. It's because they fuck with my software. Oh, not the clip. I mean, when you were doing that loop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see. I see. Yeah, I should not have paused the... Uh, so you could have gotten the full... Uh, the full... Um, thing. Whatever. I know what you mean now. Um. Okay. So combined workout starts a workout. I post a message, um, and we split the URL. So this I don't need now. So how does this work? It returns the data from the worker, um, and we inject this. So yes, this is an object, meaning that I can import. Um, I should be able to import this. I'm not exactly sure. I forgot this import from um, I like refactoring. Apparently is what I'm going to do all the day on this project combined work. Huh? But I'm learning stuff, you know, so it's fine with me. I learned that WebAssembly is not faster than normal JavaScript. The other day. Uh, you should rename to Refactor Sue app. Probably. Okay. So what do we have here? Unexpected token import from okay, and this is not a worker no more. <laughs> yeah, I get a get an extra middle name. Then it's easier to find me. I have like a somewhat common name right now. So. And this takes a parameter, so I guess I, right? It's the, it's the class that takes the parameter, yes. So this one here, I say let uh, E probably work, and then I can remove all this actually. It's not gonna work because unexpected token. I probably need to say that this is a a module, right? No. Still not working. So let me see. Console. What? Okay, so my Chrome crashed or what is going on? I cannot go to any tabs here. It's odd. Okay. HTML builder has already been declared.
<laughs> yeah, let's just say that it's more fun, right? To think that we are very important and that they will use time on hacking us or something. Or hacking me. <laughs> um, okay, so how do you do this? I forgot. How do I export JavaScript export class? Um, it's because the yeah, whatever. Okay, export class class name. So we should be able to export it like this, um, and then use it like that, I suppose. So export export class HTML builder export class name. Um, then the question is, how do we import it? Is it not on the class from? Import HTML builder. Maybe I should call it something else. <laughs> they will hack you and see the Ching hexagrams. Then their face will be like, excuse me, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, yeah, they'll, they'll find some funny things on my computer, that's for sure. <laughs> some very, very funny things, very funny. <laughs> they'll probably run screaming away. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck does this guy do? <laughs> he, uh, I think they will say that. Most likely, who does he work for, or something? I don't know. Anyways, um, so uh, why do I always forget this? A short name. Do I need to rename this or something? S X. And do this. Okay, so it seems like something is running here. So let's check. Okay, so I guess it were like name interferences. Uh, we have menu. Yes, and it's not data anymore. So we have to get rid of this data because it's an object. It's not a web worker anymore. So like that. Um, Oh, maybe it's because I just have to say star. I have to do this and then I say star or something. Maybe that's better. I don't know how you do. Or maybe you just say import without the naming. Import. Like that. Maximum stack calls. Oh shit, I'm stupid. I'm actually stupid. Actually stupid. Actually stupid. Okay, so yes, so this should create it at least. So then I don't have to deal with that for now. Um, so here, something is going on uh, because it's doing re request again. Um, right now, this should be. So maybe it should be async. Not sure if I can wait. So 
So router, let me see. How do I normally do this? Uh, or in here. So here, the router runs this, imports the module, module and runs the default, and then we remove it. So I guess, what if I do a case here with nothing? And it will run this one again. I'm not sure if there is a way to call a function every time you run a, a switch, but so nothing runs this and what we need to get, what if I do, do this then, and then we export, um, remove this, I suppose, so export, default function and right now I just want this to write something very simple just to make it work actually um, so let's see I'll do this So body takes a main HTML and maybe we should actually take this. I don't know. Okay. So here we call uh, JS dot index and in the index JS we just do like dev hello or something and then we see what happens because then it should call that function I wanted it to call Let's see okay New URL, okay, so there is a slash. Um, yes. Okay, and we run the default, which is this, uh, it's fine. And it's probably hidden here, so. But it is injecting the HTML, and also it should also fix the, the menu points. Now the console is fucked up again, it seems. What the fuck? Okay. okay so the router is calling at least here, index.html. Um, yes, and it should not go to this link anymore. Meaning that, what did I do here? Uh, so that must be in uh, this messy place. So it's not index anymore. It's not index anymore. I can remove all these HTML. Uh, uh, dots. I don't need them when I have my own routing. 
even though it's only client side, right? Okay, so that works. Let's see. Uh, research. Okay, so there's no research. And I, and I was thinking before, maybe, I'm not sure if it's faster. The, this case stuff is probably the fastest, right? But I was wondering, maybe I should have um, a, a tree for this. So if the slash is research, then it's like a nested. It would be a nested switch. And all these would then be in here instead because they, they are inside the research and then maybe I could make a function for it or something because I think this in the end this will be very long um, because I have to write the route for each right um, each point Oh look, it's working, yay. It requests this. I don't know why it requested this though. Oh, it's because I don't break. Okay, so let's see, we're getting, we're getting somewhere at least. Module default is not a function. So let's see, router. Yeah, HTML is also breaking here. Uh, so we have a worker here, there's a worker going on, and maybe this should not be a worker anymore. Um, it should probably not be a worker, because if I request this, or maybe, maybe it's still too much, I'm not sure. Um, let's see. Oh yes, it's because I did this right. It has to be this one. Or no. Wait a minute. Which one is it? Oh, it's a single worker function. Ellie, where does this come from? Single worker function takes the element, and the element comes from uh, this function call build cards, get element, research cards. Okay, so this I cannot do anymore. Um, I'll have to do it another way. Um, get element research cards. Let's see, what does it actually inject? And where did my code go? So Ellie, maybe this just have to be I guess I could just do main and then, yes, it's probably what I need to do. It's kind of odd because I thought that I did something about this yesterday. Yes, now they're broken. Indeed, they are broken. So we have a container here, which holds the research cards. Okay, so that's interesting. Where does this come from then? Um, maybe it would be more logical to actually have it here. I'm not sure. Anyway, so let's see. This research card. Um, build research card. We have all this bullshit data. And then... We call this function, which is a worker, and we write to the element. Um, but where where does this come from right now? I don't think I'm requesting the HTML, am I? So let me see. 
Um, index research JS research. It's only JS, right? There's no HTML. Yes, it seems so. Okay. Then the question is where main container. So there is this. The question is where where does that come from? Seems like it's this one, right? Um. Let's see. Means that we write the inner HTML on the message here. Um. Apparently this is all the data at once, so I guess I could check out the work and then put it here. So each row, we create a row, that's fine. But do we use this? No, we do not use this. And also something here can be removed. Um, so I suppose we put this like that. It is a template. And then we have and dev here that move this okay it's still not working main okay so it seems like it's not returning what are we expecting because I'm not appending this to this one. Uh, I guess I could just do this actually. Move this. Then it should work. No? Nope. Okay, it's not a function on message. Wait a minute. The function. Oh. Okay, so this one is working now. That's good. That's good. So see, we have this. We can press here, and it updates. Something about this menu that should probably hide again or something. And we do that. And going back and forth does not even work. That does nothing. But there's probably an event here, right? I can call um, JavaScript history history change. Maybe maybe you can add an event listener. Or what? Push date. Okay, so I actually have to push multiple parameters here as well. Um, so let's see. Get page. Um, location assigned. What is this? Navigate is not. Ajax navigation is not supported. Um, history replace. Ooh, what is all this? Oh, 
unload. So let's see. Um, Window on pop state. Let's see, window <coughs> on pop state. Okay, back. So this seems like maybe this is what I need. Window on pop state. I guess I can try to just put it like this and then press here. Okay, so this definitely uh, runs. A this code meaning that I, I would need this in my router somewhere um, I'm not sure how I should bind this yeah, should I make a function for it bind bind uh, history change So probably only have to bind this once because yes. Um I guess I could do it maybe should have a constructor actually for this. I guess I could also use put this in the constructor. So I'll, I'll do a constructor then um do that and this So it seems like nothing is happening. Module default. Seems like some function stuff goes on. Okay. 
Offset height, outer height, inner height.
that. It's not even on the list, my. Oh, it is here. Mm -hmm. uh, did it, did it. All right, so. Why is the mistake here? Uncalled in promise module default is not a function. What? Unexpected. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. So see now it request. Search HTML. Hmm. Oh, maybe this is it. I guess that's the request. Could be. Um, the question is then. How, I guess this is like a node thing I have to do then. Because I always have to serve this file, right? Uh, so how would this be done? I go here. And then this is requested. But it has to serve the index file. At least if there is no content. Right, and then after that, I would have to figure out which JavaScript I should serve. Um, so let me see. I'm not sure how I debug this. I guess I could just remove this actually. I'll take some of this here and put I think I need this route. Um, app. Use static. Half. Res. Request.
static gear name okay let underscore gear name equals this So I don't need this. This is going up up here, I suppose. So use not found in static static files. Uh, I wonder what that does. Send file, but I think this is what I do here. Send file. I think this might be the problem. Okay. Hmm. What if I just remove the files actually? If I just delete this? Maybe that <laughs> maybe that would do it. Because it's probably looking for this right now. Maybe that is causing the problems. I'll just try. And then we can probably add this again. So this is good. This is, I guess, the first step where I want to go. So I have to remove all the, the HTML files. Um, and then let's see what this does, the routing. So we hit research. Um, okay. Ah. Uh, so the question is, does it always add the slash in the end? I mean, why is it adding the slash in the end? Why 
Why can I not just go here? Hmm. Maybe just always have that slash or what? It just seems a bit odd to me. Okay, so it's, I guess it's always doing this, navigate to, I wonder if other size does this as well. No, this, don't, this one does not add a slash in the end. Hmm. How do, do I make it stop doing that? Why does it add this slash? I mean, it's the same, right? But it's just not looking good if you look up here. If it would look like this. I do not like that. Uh, visit. Not calling. Mm. It's not very cool. It's not very cool. Here it does not add it. Hmm. So why does it do it with the other? It's very interesting. For me at least. Uh, why would it add the slash? It's because of this maybe? Or the directory name or something. Okay, so it seems like it's requesting two times right here. Seems like this goes on and then there is this request right after. Hmm. So why was that happen? Because here... Where is it? Oh, we do not even request that. Oh, is it because it's the first? First time we go here. Here we request this, that's fine. And then if we go here, nothing happens. Yes. So the first the first request behave differently or what? Hmm. I 
do not like that. It's just not very cool. Here it adds it, right? It adds the slash. But if I do this, it doesn't add the slash. But if I press insert here, it adds the slash. Okay, so 100. Oh, maybe this is the error. Free HTTP code. What does it say? Moves permanently. It's used for a permanent URL redirection. We should not really do it. Um, redirect all, app all, what is this? URL redirect. Okay, so I guess there's something going on here. With this res. Free? Why? Why is it doing this? Maybe we should get rid of this express. I don't know if that helps.
Why is this successful but this is not? I should not do this. It's two get requests. Maybe that's the browser or what? I don't know. I mean, you know, it only sends one visit, this, and then it navigates to. Navigate to.
should I? Oh, let's see. How do I call this? Do I really need this constructor? Hmm. I definitely don't need to do this every time. So I guess actually I should just. Um, This is fine for the start, I guess. But then I do need to export this. making too many redirects now uh, and also it doesn't seem to work it works first time but then second time it stops working hmm maybe this remove redirect has to take an element Instead of just getting all the A tags.
Default, why is this giving an error right now? Um, let's see. It runs this. One time, okay, so that's fine. Um, let's see. Default is not. Oh, wait a minute. Is that it? Hmm. Push new URL. Okay, so we push, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna test something very re weird here, so. Length minus one, so let me just split, split string or substring. It's a substring, string, new URL dot substring minus one comma link let let me just console okay so meaning that we we had to do zero and minus one here I don't really like this solution to be honest. It's very, very odd, I would say. So. But 
I'll, I'll try it out for her now and see what it actually does. If substring equals that, do this. Okay, so now the question is what happens to server side? Because we can remove that hmm, research, yes. Uh, I do not like that. Why is it going like this? Why is it going like this? I mean, I just wanted to request this. Why is it? Why can it not just request this? I don't understand. I don't understand why it has to request this path. Um, but maybe it's something up with this node or express or something. Maybe I have to use another library. I'm not really using express anyways. We'll probably just find something else maybe if that works get star Because the only thing it really has to do right now is serve the files. Maybe it's that star, I do not know. What happens if we do this? Yes. Hmm. 303, 404. Maybe I have to code my, my own stuff or something. Because I don't really need all this. Hmm. Dust of slash for like a half second, you see, which I do not like. It does that at all. Hmm. And it also seems like it's requesting two, or it's doing two requests. It should also not do that. It's requesting this first and then requesting this after. But it should only request this and this should serve the file. But maybe it's looking for like a di directory or something. Maybe that's what's happening here in this function. Oh, that was very loud for me at least. But thank you. I guess it's something to do with the folders because it's requesting the folder or something. But it does not really matter, you know, it does not really matter what. Maybe I can lock this out.
because my assumption is that it's looking for this um, folder. But it should not really look for a folder. John path. Serve static, maybe I have to use that. Uh, do I use that? I do not have that, but I have this express static. Maybe that's the same. I guess I can try. Connect. What is this? send file to send a file sends a file now uh, I'll show I'll show it if it doesn't break but you see if I if I go here right if I press enter it requests uh, this this folder for some reason it adds a slash to it um, and I'm not sure why it does this my assumption is that it's server-side because you can see uh, first it requests this uh, but it returns like this redirect uh, code and then it responds with the, the get research slash. So it's almost like it's looking for the folder, uh, this research folder, but it should just return this. Uh, basically what I wanted to do is to only serve the index HTML 
and not really s respond with with this and I, I do not know how you you do that because this is fine right if it uh, yeah. anyways like if it Like, like this is how it's supposed to be. Um, right, app use, recent file. But is that not what it does here? Oh, app get, app use, app use, and then this or what? Use. Request. Yes. Like this. Uh, is this supposed to be like a function like that? Or something. Wait, I'll wait. I don't know how to do this anyways. Like this or what? I, I guess I'll just try it out. Yeah, it's still going here. It's not allowed to do this slash. It should not... <clears throat> it should not really care. Like no JS. Here, it should not care about... Ah, uh, 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 yes, yes, but it serves... It makes... It creates the slash up here, and that's not good. And it also does an extra request, which is kind of pointless. It first requests this, and then after it requests this, uh, this one. So it's like extra... It seems to do something it should not do. Uh, this is the same as I, the same problem as I had before. Exactly the same, actually. Because here, you know, if I if I use it like this, it's fine. Like this is how it should work, right? I go here and it opens this and does this uh, request, right? And gets this data. But if I press, it's because it's like client-side routing right now, um, or some client-side routing. And the first request, if it goes like this, it should serve the... Um, like it should not, it should just go like, it should just not do that slash. Maybe show the code above. Uh, yeah, but it's like, I just don't know why it's doing this, why the server is responding this way. It's the server, right? The server choose to respond like this. Like this is the problem right here. It does uh, this 301 HTTP. Uh, I think it's something wrong before, uh, I think it's something wrong before cause in my express example it works normally like you want it um, but it's because I'm doing uh, I'm doing like react stuff right uh, and I like doing this because it's not react it's like um, you see here um, if I pr do this it requests this, this side you know without redirecting uh, but and then my problem is, you know, if the user, in this case, comes to the website like this, you know, the, the user visit uh, the website from the URL and not, you know, from the, from this. So the user instead it comes from this URL and, you know, like this, if I press enter, you get nothing, right? Because the path is wrong. 
um, because the request is not uh, like it's supposed to be. I'm pretty sure it's in this node uh, JS stuff. Because it should not add, add it should not add the slash to the URL. That's the problem basically. The problem right now is this slash to the URL uh, and this extra request it does redirect uh, for some apparent reason that I do not know. Um, uh, wait. Uh, well, you tell me. <laughs> you tell me. Can you change the app express static? Uh, yes, but then I don't think I can serve any files, right? I mean, I can do it, but... Or maybe I don't need it. Yeah, it cannot, rec it cannot serve any files. Or... Uh, it's not redirecting in, or it is kind of redirecting in the browser. So I think, I'm not sure. Let's see. Um, here. And then, it, okay, so maybe this does something. Let me see. So use app slash static path. Maybe I'll, I'll try that out and see what it does. Did I do wrong? Uh, it's still doing this this trick. Um, I don't think this is showing it, right? Or maybe this. Let me try. Yeah, it's it's not showing it here, but it's on the server side because of. I think my assumptions here are that, you know, Node looks for this folder, right? Uh, this folder right here. I mean, the network tab. I'm not sure if it will show up here, to be honest. Uh, let me do it again. Okay, so here, yeah, we, you get this 300. Uh, because it's looking for, it's like server side, it's looking for this, but it cannot find this, so it responds with this one. But, you know, it should not do this because I don't want it to, to do this. <laughs> Basically, that's the case. I mean, this could be useful maybe in other, uh, for other people, but, not what I need. You know, this is what I need it to respond with. Just the, the HTML file here. And not this flash. Because that's not where it should be. M maybe I can do it on, on here somehow. Um, because maybe this dear name is doing something, this express static. Um, because it's a folder, this one, right? But it should not behave like a folder. Why you said dear name yourself? Uh, because uh, this node is, is not the same place as my files right now. Also, why does it matter? It's not the problem, to be honest. I'm pretty sure it's not the problem. It's because the files, they are in, uh, it's two different projects. You know, this is the server kind of thing. And then I have the stuff uh, or the client side over here. That's why. Um, yeah.
in the directory, maybe I can do something like this. And then I would have to do Uh, thank you again, so let me see, what if I do uh, do this and then we say, we set the deer path here and remove this Maybe something happens, I do not know. Oh, maybe I have to do this. Then I do research, maybe. And over here the same. And let's try to remove this then. Still adding the slash though. So that's no good. Or maybe not, maybe this is working actually. Two hundred, uh, yes. It seems like this is working actually. The only problem is just that I have to define a lot of, a lot of these. I suppose. This one that does it. It's, a, it's this express static that does it. Um, and one way around this would be to define all these, right? So I, I would have to do like this. But that's not very, very cool. Uh, no, it's not a HTML file. There is only one HTML file. At least that's the goal. It's not made like that exactly, but that's what I'm trying to achieve, right? Uh, so I serve one HTML file, and then after I serve the file, I have to, uh, you know, request. Uh, then there is some client side routing, uh, this one, where I import the module 
based on uh, the URL like this and then I inject like the JavaScript or run some JavaScript uh, the idea you know is to, to make it work kind of like react but not really be react and you might say why not just use react <laughs> well uh, that's not how it goes right now <laughs> at least um, anyways I like this is one solution right where the, I would have to define all these uh, places it would have to go and then make them public like this then I can serve it like that but and then it doesn't do the slash but it's just that it seems to be maybe a lot of work to define all these uh, but maybe it's okay because then it's not doing something that the server should not do maybe I don't really know and this should probably be up here So what is missing? This this is the problem then. I'd have to define a lot of bullshit almost. Uh, right. It's not very good. Normally it should be enough to allow the parent there. Um, yes, like that's what I would say as well. Just allow this right. But if I do that, it, it adds that uh, it adds that uh, slash because I think like what was the other method? Uh, I think I removed the code now. But there were like another method, right, where you you import the uh, like do this app use maybe and you set this express express static uh, to the parent dear or something like dear name something like that, right? And it would do all the stuff for you. Um, but maybe it's because I'm I'm not really doing it the normal way, so I cannot use that approach. Because for some reason this express static uh, seems to uh, thank you expect um, or it seems to look for folders. And the problem is then if I don't, maybe if you make your your own routes, but I don't really want to make any routes in the Node.js. But um, I guess you could get around it maybe if I made, made a route for it and said, if this uh, do that, you know, uh, but without routes, maybe it's it's looking for this folder because this is, this is uh, what the server looks in right so it looks for the folder and then it returns slash I think because of it being a folder if it were something else maybe it wouldn't do it
I used Node to serve the Angular frontend and it was enough to point to the deer of the frontend and to point... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably doing something wrong, but I'm not sure what it is exactly. You know, that's the problem with it. Because you see, as soon as I add this, if I add this server, like the deer, uh, the root, or whatever you want to call this, the pointing, the directory I point to, then instantly it starts doing this stuff, adding the slash. So, and I've removed this, you know, then it works again, uh, like this. So it's kind of, it's kind of interesting that it choose to do this. But maybe you had another file structure, you know, it could be, it could be because of this file structure I got here, like this file structure. Because it's looking for this file when I do this request uh, or this folder or a file, whatever fi file folder. But in this case, it's a it's a folder. could just do like this, right? Um, maybe I don't need this. Yes, the folder has the same name as the route. But, I mean, I can just do it this way. This works. So I might just do that. Maybe it's also safer not just to now I only allow what I, I type here anyway, so maybe this is a better approach anyhow. Because then it's easier for me to limit uh, what people can see and not see. Um, so, I guess, I guess that's fine, actually. Maybe. Maybe. So what goes on now? Type type error. Failed to fetch dynamically imported module. Uh, so why is it doing this now? So something went wrong in here now. It cannot request this for some reason. I don't know if I have to make this public or if all the childs uh, or all the, the child directories are public when you do this. I guess I can only test it. Okay, so it's not very cool. It's not very cool. I tried it myself. When the route equals a folder name, it automatically add, adds the slash. 
I see. Maybe there is an easy way. Maybe I should just have uh, Googled this or something. You can use express static like this. Okay, I'll, I'll try it out and see what it does. What is this next? Do I need that? Let me see. Express static request URL. Did not work. I mean, it gives the right, uh, right path, but I think there are some other requests that do not work as they should. Yes, now it cannot get these apparently. Maybe I should just make my own route for it. Could be the best way. But I guess this is routes as well, right? App use is a route, I suppose. I'm not... Use... Hmm. Yeah, I might just go with this. I know it's more code, but this does not seem, to, at least that one, this does not seem to work as it should. I should probably make like a function that does all the um, like the subdirectories here or something. 
Because right now this is a lot of like redundant code. Right. It will, like, this list will be very, I should probably make like a loop or something that gets these folders and then writes them. Right. So this this made it a lot slower. A lot slower. Hmm. Let me see. But I guess that's only the initial request. I should probably remove this or move move that around and then put I should probably have this in the HTML um, doesn't give me anything to do it like this right now other than it probably slows it down quite a bit. I also would like to know why the network requests, they do not go off here. This is one of the things that I've never understood. Like why is it not downloading here in the background?
Oh, uh, yes, yes. Okay, so I see. It's probably because I imported here, right? I imported it in this one. Yes. Hmm. So apparently that's not very good. At least not for the initial load. The initial load is very bad because of this, I think. Graduate model. So I need another way to do this. I guess if I start, I remove all these things. I guess I could just move them to the HTML. Because I think this is, it's also low priority. It might first be running here. So the router also has to be here. What? So I have to remove this or change it up. So let me see. Or get rid, I should probably get rid of this, to be honest. Um, 
We did not run this. At all. This could be good though. I think it might be less data sent. I'm not sure. I think it actually is less data. At least network. So maybe... I can keep it somehow for now. Hundred and forty four lines, so let me see. Hundred and forty four. And this is like the same. Actually. But this is also with the breadcrumbs and the menu. Now it's doing the request. Um, and then I would have to call this from the start. This one. Very slow right now. 
We're almost faster than before. It's odd. But I guess I cannot really do so much about this. Other than maybe laser load or something. But it's still way too late these happens, I think. I have to find a way where I can do these network requests before. Because there's not happening anything here anyways. These might as well go off here. Because here it's like waiting only for the the network almost. I wonder how I get the initial load down because this is this is not bad you know this is this is how it should be like the load time right or of course you cannot get the same um, load time because of the downloading of the data but Also creating do I not destroy these? Orcas terminate. I do terminate it. Maybe it's just showing because of something. Maybe I should have this worker open or something. Four. 
What? What is this happening? I cannot go to the console. Okay. Uh, fail to fetch dynamically imported. Um, dynamically imported. Why is that so? Oh yes, it is. Forgot I have to do this bullshit. Anyways, I'll take a break now, so have a good day.